Hey guys, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you're an oldie, welcome back. So today I have a super exciting video. I know I say that in every video, but seriously, you guys, it is really exciting. This is the Harry Potter and the Hufflepuff Beauty Box. This is what it looks like. This retails for $29 at Ulta. So you get a six-pan eyeshadow palette, a um, lipstick slash lip gloss, a highlighter, and then you get a gel liner as well. That is gold. Um, so I'm super excited to play around with this. And you guys, I literally just realized as well, I was typing this in to look at it on Ulta, and I seen that there is a 20% off coupon for anything that's Harry Potter. I'm really sad that I didn't get to see that coupon. I did pay the full $29, but I will leave that link down in the description box below in case you guys want to get this. Um, there is like three or four four other ones too that come with everything and then just a different eyeshadow but we are going to jump right in i do already have my full face on so we can just focus on these products today and so there is four or five different boxes i'm going to look on my phone and try to go to ulta to see if i can't um find like the actual name of this box okay so these are the details on ulta's website is the harry potter times Ulta Beauty Hufflepuff Cosmetics Kit is inspired by the Hufflepuff House Colors. This magical kit features items with neutral tones and pops of gold. It includes a six-piece eyeshadow palette, tinted lip balm, metallic gel eyeliner, and a highlighter. And I also do like the box that it comes in because it's kind of like a little cool box. And it kind of like um, magnetizes shut. This is a really cool box to put like anything in. Okay, so here is the palette. And the reason why I picked this specific set is because this screamed fall to me more than the rest. So this is what it looks like. Super cute, super little, super petite. Um, yeah, I definitely thought it was going to be a bit bigger, but um, we do have lots more in this bundle to make up for the small eyeshadow palette. So then the, we have the Hogwarts highlighter. This is in the shade nothing, I guess. It's just highlighting beads. So I haven't ever used highlighting beads before. I mean, they look super freaking cool. Let me see if I can get, like, get up in the camera maybe and show you guys without dropping them. So they're like beads. Um, Like I said, super cool. I haven't ever used a highlighter like that before or anything like a blush because I've seen there was blushes like that, but I haven't ever tried them. And then here is the gel liner, and I'm pretty sure this is in the shade of gold. Well, it looks more gold to me. And here is the tinted lip balm. So first, I am going to start with the eyes, and then we will work our way from there. So I'm first going to prime per usual using the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This is in the shade Cream. I'm going to take my Jessup Concealer Buffer Brush. Start buffing that all over my lid. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set my lids, and for that, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Setting Powder. So on the palette, it says Dedication, Loyalty, and Patience, Harry Potter. So I guess the first color I'm going to take is going to be Butterbear. It's this yellow shade right here. So for that, I'm going to take this blending brush by Morphe. I'm just going to start blending this all around my crease area. See how pigmented this is. It's a very pretty yellow. It's almost kind of like mustardy, which I do like. Very pigmented as well. So now we have like our warmer brown right here on the palette and then we have a cooler tone brown here. So I'm going to go in with this warmer tone brown. I'm actually going to use that same brush by Morphe. I'm going to keep this a little closer to the crease area. I'm actually going to switch brushes. This one is a little bit too hard. Don't mind my brushes, you guys. They're so dirty, but I'm going to take this JH33 brush. It's kind of like a small blending brush. Same thing. I'm just going to blend this through the crease. And the pigment does not lie, you guys. Like, this pigment is pretty dang good. And I'm also going in really light-handed as well. I actually just got a little bit closer so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to go in with the darkest matte in the palette. And this is called Chocolate Frog. So I'm going to use that same JH33 brush. I'm just going to start rotating this right along the outer V. So I kind of just want to keep this color right on the outer V. I really don't want to get it in the crease because I want to kind of separate the crease shade with the outer V shade. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab this brown shade and then the yellow as well. So that same Morphe blending brush that we used the first time. I'm just going to kind of mix those two together and blend all this out. 
So now we're going to go in and test out the shimmers. So I think the first shimmer I'm going to go in with is going to be... Okay, so I did say that there was three shimmers, three mattes. There's not because this white shade right here is also a matte. So there's only two shimmers, which would be this one and then this one right here. So I'm going to grab this shade first. It's kind of like a silvery brown shade. And I'm going to take a flat brush by Vertex. See how these apply dry. Start applying this on about one half of my lid. Already, oh my gosh, gorgeous shimmer. Lots of fallout. I can literally feel it falling all over my face. Wow, absolutely freaking gorgeous though. Definitely don't have to get my brush wet for this shimmer shade. And now I'm going to take this shimmer shade right here called Wand. And I'm going to apply this right here with that shimmer in the matte meat. Once again, another gorgeous shimmer shade. Wow, you guys, I am absolutely loving this look this far. Like, for having only six shades, I mean, it's a, definitely a nice little palette. Don't know if it would be an everyday palette for me, but I definitely do like it. So now that we're done with the eyeshadow palette, I am going to go in with the gel liner. And I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to do a thin line on my top water line. I don't know how to open this, you guys. Do I turn this? Do I open it like this? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is the top. Pull this out, and then there's the liner. So that's really, really cool. So I guess I'm just going to start digging in. So I don't know, you guys. Maybe I'm just going to, maybe I'll just layer this over this shimmer shade. Let's see what it looks like. Did I totally just screw that up, you guys? Not really sure if I like it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other. I might actually layer back over it with the um, shimmer shade. Now I feel like such an idiot. Please let me know down below if I was supposed to do that with this or if I'm supposed to like do a wing liner, which I was going to do a liner. I don't know why the heck I didn't. Like, I don't know. It looks really shimmery in the bottle or the tube, but it's really not that shimmery on the eyes. The shimmer shade from the palette was a lot more shimmery. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help myself. I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to grab that winged key shade again. I'm literally just going to apply that over top. So I'm going to go get some false eyelashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and we're going to jump back into the palette and do the lower water lines. I'm going to go in with the shade Mandrake. I'm going to take this tiny pencil brush by Energy. I'm going to start smoking out my lower lash line. I'm trying to keep this color as close to my waterline as I can. That brush just was not working for me, so I'm going to grab this smudger brush by Jessup. Then I'm going to take the shade Chocolate Frog, the darkest brown in the palette. Then I'm going to smoke those two out with the shade Butter Bear. So I'm going to grab my mascara. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Get my lower lashes. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into the highlighter. I'm just going to take this highlighting brush by Morphe. I'm just going to kind of start like, I guess, rubbing my brush around in it. Let's give it a go. I'm really not sure how to use this or if I'm supposed to use like a sponge or a brush. I have no idea. I mean, it's given me a little bit, not like an extreme highlight. Can you please tell me if I'm doing this right or wrong? Okay, there we go. I'm starting to see it a little bit. A little bit on my nose. So now the last thing in the box is we have the Hufflepuff Lip Balm. And this is just in the shade Tinted Lip Balm. You think it would have a, like a shade name? That's what it looks like. I really love the color of it though. It really fits well for fall. First, I am going to take a lip pencil. This is by NYX. This is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. 
the shade super pretty shade that way we have something for that lip balm to stick to or at least if that comes off my lips i'll still have this color on Okay, so now this tinted lip balm has a lot of tint to it. Like, I really love it. A lot of tinted lip balms that I've ever used are kind of, like, super tinted, like, where you can't even see anything. But I absolutely love this color. So, now let's go back over everything in the box, and I'll tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and all that good stuff. So, first with the palette, um, it's definitely not, like, something I would probably use every day. I could see myself using it maybe occasionally. I don't know. I, I like it. I definitely really like the shimmers. The mattes blended out okay. Like, it's... Like I said, it's not a favorite, but that's what it looks like again. I think all the shades performed somewhat well. Um, have I had better palettes? Of course, but um, it's not really a bad palette. I mean, if you guys, sorry about my phone. I mean, if you guys are huge Harry Potter fans, you guys would absolutely like probably love this collection, whether the shades were good or not. And then next we had the gel eyeliner. You guys, I think I totally screwed this one up. I should have just went on my gut and did a complete line, but instead I put it over top of the eyeshadow, so I had to go back in with the palette and put the other shade back on. But I can't wait to try this some more because I really didn't have a fair shot at using it because, like I said, I covered it back up with shimmers, but not a bad liner, and I love the color of it as well. And then we had our highlighting beads, which I definitely need to test out some more because I don't think I was doing it right. Something I was doing was wrong because it took me a lot of digging to get the pigment or maybe that's just how the highlight beads are. So I really did like these and I think that you get quite a bit. You know, I think they would last quite a while. All I can think in my head when I see these is like smashing them up and turning them into like a powder because I feel like it'd just be so much easier to apply. I don't get the sense of like the beads. Then the last thing we got was the tinted lip balm another product that i absolutely loved out of here i love the shade of it i love how it made my lips feel like i said again soft like juicy hydrating but not like clumpy and gross so absolutely loved that so once again guys this box cost 29 dollars. but like i said there is a coupon on ulta's website for anything that's harry potter you can get 20 percent off so if i can find that i will leave it linked below yeah if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you guys would want me to get like any of the other um the beauty boxes by harry potter let me know down in the comments below and i will and do you remember how earlier in the video i said the hufflepuff collection because i thought they were all named hufflepuff they're not this one that's yellow is the hufflepuff i don't know why something in my mind told me that all the boxes were hufflepuff but they're not they all have their own separate names so i think there's more of like a blue one i think there's a green one and then I think there's a couple more. So if you guys would like to see any more of them, let me know down in the comments below. And really quick, I will give you a close-up so you can see everything up close and personal. And you guys, I'm seriously obsessed with this tinted lip balm. Like, I love it. I would definitely repurchase that all over again if I could. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And for everybody that's supported me through this journey, I love you and I can't thank you enough. As always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.